Miami's often troubled history is front and center at the Colony Theater in Miami Beach in a play that's called Dangerous Days. Presented by Miami New Drama, it follows a Miami Herald Pulitzer Prize winning reporter during a 1980 investigation of the police cover up behind Arthur McDuffie's death. Yeah, it was called The Verdict That Set Miami on Fire, and it literally did. CBS News Miami's Lisa Petrillo takes us behind the curtain. Three of your officers quote you as shouting racial epithets while you were beating him. A dark time in Miami's history sets the stage for a riveting new play now on at the Colony Theater on Miami Beach. Dangerous Days is a compelling production by Miami New Drama. The play follows the Pulitzer Prize winning investigation by Miami Herald reporter Edna Buchanan in 1980. She uncovered the police cover-up surrounding Arthur McDuffie's death. Originally reported as an accident, Buchanan's investigation revealed a shocking truth. McDuffie's death was a homicide disguised as a traffic accident. The four officers accused of beating McDuffie to death were acquitted by an all-white male jury. The verdict sparked three days of riots in Miami. Nicholas Griffin wrote the play based on his best-selling book. So really it's sort of almost an old-fashioned journalist slash detective story uh, about really trying to get true justice uh, for what was really a, a, a real perversion of justice at the time. The theater company's artistic director, Michelle Hausman, read the book and immediately knew he needed Griffin to turn it into a play. She wrote a play that is outstanding. It supports itself on the extraordinary, detailed um, investigation that he spent years making, and it's really a, a look at our community. Jen Weinman directs it. My important, most important job is to take the information of the story and help the playwright to shape it into something that's really theatrical and exciting to sit in an audience and watch for 95 minutes. Him, the judge, the jury, but look at this. Miami's own Roderick Randall plays Arthur McDuffie. He was just 10 when this happened. As soon as he read the play, he knew he had to do it. It was easy to say yes to doing this show because of what it means to Miami, what it means to me, what it means to, you know, the cultural entity that we have down here in South Florida. We have a police report that claims it's a crash. Actress Caitlin Clothier plays Edna Buchanan, who now, at age 85, suffers from dementia. Uh, I think the biggest thing that I love is that uh, her biggest focus were, was on the victims. She wanted to focus on who did this happen to and how did it affect the whole community. And that inspires me a lot. All involved in this production say Buchanan is the true hero of this story. There was a morality to her stories, even when they were just a column long. She could always find a sort of beginning, middle and end uh, and sort of a moral core to the stories. And I think you don't find that very often, and I think that's probably the reason she ended up winning the Pulitzer Prize in the first place. Because this is a play that happened because there were local journalists doing local stories. And because of that commitment from Edna Buchanan, she changed the face of this community. Dangerous Days, this important play about Miami's history is on stage here now through April 28th here at the Colony Theater on Miami Beach. For more information, go to our website at cbsmiami.com. I'm Lisa Petrillo, CBS News, Miami.